As part of this project, we set up five harvesters up and down the coast where the, the base cutters and all the forward feed, con feed components of the harvester were, were linked to ground speed. The rationale of there, that is that if everything is rotating at proportional to ground speed, you can start looking at optimising the design of the components to do a better job. One of the things we found very early in the piece, um, after the first series of trials, was that between 80 and 95 per cent of the stool was severely damaged um, you know, after the harvesting operation. So what we did last year was that we, we actually went in and we cut about 8 to 10 inches, cut, cut, cut sections about 8 to 10 inches high above ground level. What the rationale there was is that the base cutters would still do their cutting action on the cane so we would see what damage the base cutters were doing. But the other part of it was is, is that we're looking at if we take, we're taking away the, the gathering and knockdown effect. So what we could see then is by comparing the full harvesting operation, for example, via versus these plots, we could see you know, how, essentially how much of the damage we were, could attribute to the, the gathering and, and feeding process of the harvester and how much we could would attribute to the base cutting operation. What we found then, uh, when, when we went in and did the post-harvest um, sam sampling then and the analysis of the plots, was that our damage was about halved. So we had a dramatic reduction in the amount of damage to the cane stool when we, had, when we took away the gathering and feeding process. And the data so far has shown that where we hand cut about that high so that we've taken away the knockdown and feeding damage, uh, the gathering damage and, and feeding damage, um, our yields have between, been between 7 and 25 per cent higher in those sections relative to the section beside it was standard harvest. And so that's a, a pretty big number. So what we're doing now is uh, what we've modified a harvester here behind us and so what we're, we're doing tomorrow is starting to do some trials looking at that harvester um, in the field and A, it, it mightn't feed as well as, as we'd like it to but you know this is the first, the, what we're actually trying to prove is the, the, the fact that if we don't knock the cane down anywhere near as hard that we will, um, you know, we'll have a lot less damage. Uh, what we're looking at is the effect of um, a muchly reduced knockdown angle, so a, a less aggressive front end. So we're hoping to see a lot less stalk snapping below the surface, a lot less um, shattering going on as well, because in the standard system, you put a lot of pressure on the stalk prior to cut, cutting, which either snaps it off below the surface or as the blade hits it, it shatters. So we're hoping to see a reduction in those deep shatters and in those snappings, which hopefully should link through to improved returning and, and better crop growth, therefore better yields the following years. What I'm ferreting around like a bandicoot looking for is um, just the level of damage to the stool. And so, um, yeah, basically just scratching away the soil and, and feeling whether the soil's loose or, or yeah, what sort of damage has been done to it. So far it's looking pretty good there. Um, yeah, we're quite happy with the way the machine's feeding. This is about 110 tonne to the hectare crop. The machine's feeding really well. We're doing up to about 6k an hour and everything's running quite nicely. So, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good.